All right, y'all, welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle, and I got something sort of special. Um, if, if you've been following my channel for any time, you know I've mentioned before that um, around here, uh, here in Oklahoma, um, trailers are very, very popular. Uh, it seems like everybody has one, it, whether it be a, a small utility trailer, a gooseneck trailer, you know, they're, they're, they're just very popular around here. Uh, horse trailers, like I said, all, just all kinds of trailers. They're very popular. So what I did recently is I went on all padlocks um, online and I picked up four, uh, a, a, a quartet, if you will, of um, uh, coupler locks, trailer coupler locks. OK, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a picture of all four up on the screen and now you will see the four I picked up top left. We got the M379 ATPY top right. We got the M379 DAT. The bottom left, we got an M378 DAT. And on the bottom right, a M377 DAT. So I figured we'd just start out with the top left, which is this dude right here. Uh, the 379 ATPY. Uh, so this one is Universal Trailer Coupler Lock. Fits most one and seven eighths inch, most one and seven eighth inch, two inch, and two and five sixteenths inch couplers. So that's cool. Uh, that's because it is adjustable again. Um, so let me see. Now this is something I needed to point out because I noticed this on the on the box earlier. Uh, Rekeyable cylinder. Okay, I did open up the box because it said that. Um, I haven't tried picking it or nothing yet, but I did look at the lock because that caught my attention. Rekeyable cylinder. Because looking at the pictures and what I've seen online, I don't see that happening. And I'm going to point that out. So what do we got here? Just shows you kind of how to how to uh, install it, how to use it. Again, with the sizes it'll work on. Time of purchase, this one right here was $28.43. Uh, and then you got the instructions again on how to use it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, very straightforward how to use these. All right, so let me show you. Rekeyable cylinder. Now, get that out of the way. Get this out of the way. I left myself a note in there reminding myself about the rekeyable cylinder. Because uh, I wanted to point that out. So, yeah, rekeyable cylinder. Now, Look at this thing. There's absolutely no way to get that cylinder out of there that I can find. It's got a permanent pin right here that holds that cylinder in there. So I don't understand how, I mean, maybe rekeyable for master lock. I don't even know how they would do it because you'd have to get that pin out of there. And as you can see, that's a press fit pin, you know? So I'm telling you, like as far as the user side, I'm not going to be able to get that out of there. So how it's rekeyable, I don't have a clue. But they claim it is. So there's the key for it. it looks to be a one, two, three, four, probably wafer lock. Let me see. Okay, so you turn it a full 180. Okay, so this is... All right, I already see one weakness right there. Ratcheting. Let me see. Lock it back up. Does it push forward? Yeah, it does. So that means we can probably grab a hold of that spring-loaded locking pole in there and slide it back. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, let me grab something here. Uh, I always got something around here to use for that. Uh, let me see. Bent piece of metal right here. Let's try that. So we want to be able to grab that and slide this piece back. I don't know if this will be strong enough. It's just some, I think, a windshield wiper insert. If I can get it in there. Yep, that'll work. See that? So yeah, you can grab that spring-loaded locking pole and slide that back off. So that's probably not great. But yeah, uh, re-cable, I don't see it, do you? 
I don't understand how you get that out of there. But leave it to master lock. <laughs> so any hoodles, yeah, spring loaded, probably not great. But then again, as long as it's installed and pushed as far as it can be forward, uh, you may not be able to get that out of there. Or you may not be able to spring, I don't know. I think maybe with the right tool, because you can get access to it. And all you gotta do is bring it down. So yeah, that is doable, I think. Something to keep in mind. But anyways, let's take a look at that. 180 opens it up, bring it back, and then you'd slide it forward to lock it on. So I'm guessing wafer lock, like I said, let me see if I can swing this back. Yeah, wafer lock for sure. All right, so let's see what it takes. You know what, actually, these wafer locks, what I usually do first is just grab these jiggler dudes right here. These things right here. I'll probably go with that one. Let's just see. Get it in there. There we go. That easy. Oh, now it locked, so I got Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, do it again. Put it in. Give it a jiggle. Oops. Put it in. I'm not giving it a jiggle good enough. Come on, Al. It's had a trap door on it that's really throwing me. There we go. You get that sweet spot and it works just like the key does. Oh, that was hardly in there. Did you see that? It's like one way for in. Now I want to do it again. There we go. So yeah, definitely not the safest. All right, so let's see, just for fun, now I gotta try a uh, single pin picking it. So let me, uh, maybe we can use the same funky tool I have here for a tension tool. Get that trap door open. Yeah, see that? <laughs> you keep junk like that on your workbench and you never know when you're gonna use it, right? All right, so I'm just gonna grab, uh, let's see, any pick. What do I got available here? Uh, let's just grab the sparrows. Whoops, my bad. Let's grab the sparrows uh, short hook, I guess. We're just going to try and toss some of these uh, wafers back here. I don't know if that trap door is going to bother me or not. Oh, good grief. That was pretty easy. I just can't rotate it fully. There we go. So yeah, not the safest of uh, coupler locks, but again, uh, let me know what you think about that so-called um, rekeyable cylinder. It says right here on the box, rekeyable cylinder. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't be able to rekey it. So yeah, there it is. That one was the master lock uh, coupler lock. This one is called the 379 ATPY. So stay tuned. We'll get to the other three. All right. Thank you all so much. Uh, remember, if you're not subscribed yet, you need to do so because all the cool people are doing it and you don't want to be left out. Be cool. Thank you.